Hey boys and girls, this is Miss Olson. Today, since our main book is about the phenomenal tennis players, Venus and Serena Williams, we're going to kind of use tennis as our theme for the rest of our lesson. And we're going to start out by talking about different resources that you might want to use if for your New Year's resolution, you decided to learn a new hobby or a new sport, like tennis, for example. So, for just a moment, think with me, which of the following resources would be best to help you learn to play tennis? First of all, let's look at this nonfiction book. Think for just a moment. Would that be a good place to start? Hopefully, you said yes. This is a nonfiction book that will teach us about the game. It will teach us about the court that it's played on. It will teach us about the equipment that you need. It will teach you about the rules of the game. So a nonfiction book would be a great place to start when you're learning how to play a new sport or getting into a new hobby like sewing or chess or learning magic tricks, whatever it is that's interesting to you. Let's look at another resource. How about a fiction book? This is a picture book about a boy that gets a tennis racket for his birthday. Now, for a fiction book, would that be a good resource to help you learn how to play the game? Hopefully you're a little skeptical about that one. A fiction book might have a main character who's learning to play the game and you could learn along with them or her, but a fiction book is not your best choice when you need true facts. How about this? This is an online encyclopedia article from World Book Kids about tennis. In the article, the author is telling you all about the game. It's telling you about the court and the net. It's telling you about singles and doubles, where tennis can be played. And then it starts to talk about famous tournaments, and it goes on to tell you about the rules of the game. Would that be a good place to start if you didn't know much about the game and you wanted to begin? Sure it would. An online encyclopedia is a great place for true facts. And if it has special tools like this to read the information to you, even better. Let's look at this one for just a moment. Speaking of resources that will read to you or help you understand by just telling you the information, this is a YouTube video that is put out by the United States Tennis Association, and it's a kid's tennis club video. So you can actually watch this video on YouTube, and you can have a tennis racket and a ball, and you can do activities right along with the group of kids that are having a tennis lesson class. Would that be helpful? I think so too. How about talking to a coach? Often people are experts in a certain subject and their expertise can come in very handy when we're trying to learn something new. Talking to an expert, in this case, Coach Orahood, about learning to play a new sport would be a very good resource. How about browsing through a social media page? Well, this one depends. If you look a little closer at this Facebook page, it's owned by the Conway Tennis Center here in town. It gives us some good information like the address. It gives us a button that tells the telephone number. And if you read down through the thread, it gives some information about services that are available at the Conway Tennis Center. So would this be a good place to start if you needed resources about true information? Sure, you might find out something interesting about lessons that you could take or clubs that you could be involved in that have other kids that are also trying to learn the sport. Part of being successful at learning new things is knowing how to find resources to help us learn about those new skills, the new hobby, the new sport, whatever it is that we're trying to become proficient or good at. All right, like I promised you, we are going to read the nonfiction book that I talked about earlier together. 
The title is Tennis from the series Let's Play Sports, and the author's name is Kieran Downs. The copyright date of this book is 2021, and it was published by Bellwether Media. I borrowed this book from Epic. What is tennis? Tennis is a sport in which players hit a ball across a court. Players compete in singles or doubles. They score points to win games. Tennis is played around the world. It is popular in the United States. And here's a little inset that says Champion Spotlight, Serena Williams. Then there's some bullet points that tell more about her. United States tennis player, singles and doubles. Accomplishments, 23 Grand Slam singles titles, 14 Grand Slam doubles titles, four Olympic gold medals, ninth woman to finish the career Grand Slam. Tennis is also a favorite in Europe and Australia. What are the rules for tennis? Tennis games begin when one player serves. This player hits the ball across the net from the baseline. They get a second chance if they do not make it. So here the photographs are showing you an example of someone about to serve and they also give an arrow and a keyword to show you what they mean by the baseline. The other player returns the serve. The ball must bounce once before a serve is returned. Then the player must hit it back. Points are scored when the ball cannot be returned. The ball must land in bounds to count as a point. And here you have a diagram of a tennis court to show you a little bit more detail about what they're talking about. For instance, they're showing you where the service line is on each side of the net. They're showing you where the sideline is for the singles play and also for doubles play. And then again, they're showing you the baseline that they talked about earlier. And they're even showing you what they mean if someone is talking about the alley. Doubles matches have larger boundaries, it says. You can see that it's a little further out than the singles sideline. The first person to score four points wins a game. Games usually must be won by at least two points. Players must win six games to win a set. Most matches have up to three sets. Whoever wins the most sets wins the match. Tennis gear. Players use rackets to hit the ball. And you can see in this photograph, again, they have the keywords with the arrows to show you this is called a visor, this is called a racket, and then they have another diagram to show you other gear, tennis ball, tennis shoes, and then again, the visor or hat and the racket. Sometimes a nonfiction book will give you information in more than one place to help you make sure that you've seen it. Players wear visors and hats. This keeps the sun out of their eyes. Light clothes let players move well. Tennis shoes help them not slip. Tennis keeps players on their toes. At the end of this book, we have some tools like a glossary. We have other books that you might be interested in. And then there's also a web address that you can go to for more information. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. There is a couple more. There are a couple of more links in the Seesaw instructions for you to go to and find out more about being a tennis player. There's also a link to that fiction book that I showed you earlier. All right, guys, enjoy.